well, Chef Rush, I wanted to, to, to chat a little bit about, um, you know, your experience as, as a White House chef. I was reading an article uh, on, uh, I think it was on Mashed, and it was two different articles I was looking at, and it said that uh, President Trump liked things overcooked. President Obama was a big fan of vegetarian chili. And I guess when you looked at it, what was the most interesting presidential, you know, dietary habit you, you got to experience? <sighs> Interesting dietary habit. Um, well, it, first off, Obama liked his chili. He made his own chili. So it's a recipe that he did. It wasn't vegetarian. Oh, either. okay. <laughs> so I know Mash did an interview for me, and they kind of sliced it up like three or four different <laughs> interviews, but that was okay. Um, you know, I, I think one of the, the, the things with me as, as far as was is that um, I don't get surprised anymore because people don't understand that they think that presidents, you know, or people in power, they eat so fancy all the time. Especially, like, you have to think about them as, with a president, mm -hmm. they're older, right? So they got to think about, like you said, longevity, right? So they're eating all these different spots with all these different people, royalties, you know, kings or queens, whoever. And they, they do protocol, which is they eat what the people give them. Right. And it quickly be which can be really fatting or, or creams and so forth. So when they do get home in their comfort, which would be the White House, they want to just eat simple food because they may not get it again for a long time. And they also got to watch their health, their blood pressures, you know, heart disease, all those different things. So um, they ate pretty simple. Um, and but I would say the, the, the stuff that's a little bit overcooked for me, I, I, I can never do an overcooked steak. I'm just that guy. I love a nice, juicy, medium rare steak, and <laughs> I love a nice, you know, even a, a medium rare, um, a medium uh, salmon. So I, I do love that per se. Well, I'm I'm curious, like you know, in that role as as the executive chef in the White House, what was your most personally rewarding experience from that? Like, you know, what what for you was your like, you know, I'm really glad I got to do that particular thing. Uh, you know, I'll be very honest with you uh, on that part. I've, I've been asked that question again and again. Um, it's kind of like people ask me, what's my favorite dish? I don't have one. Because yeah, that's hard to pick. Every <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, because every dish is going to be my best dish. I, I tell people when I make, I joke around and say, if I made your bologna sandwich, which a lot of people don't even know what bologna is, it's going to be the best bologna sandwich you ever had in your life, right? Because I'm going to put something, I'm going to make it so special that you won't even recognize it and, and just say, hey, let's have another bologna sandwich. So being there, being able to get, provide a service with so many different men and women from uh, uh, kids with cancer to military members from uh, people in in history, I mean, literally, they're all just so extraordinary and so humbling just to be part of something that no one else could never understand and appreciate. <laughs>